Hancock and Charles Davis. We find ourselves at the home of the world's first retractable natural grass field as you get a look inside State Farm Stadium in Glendale. It's certainly hot outside here in the desert, but somehow this Cardinal crowd turned up the heat a moment ago. They were in a frenzy as their team emerged from the tunnel, and the Cardinals are set to do Davis, South Brandon, Gordon, and for both of these teams that we're going to see, Charles, the future is kind of ball effectively. That just opens things up for guys who want to throw it and gives you easier passing lanes and easier coverages to read. Well, they said balance will be a focus in this one. Yeah, they don't want it all just heaped on his shoulders, I don't believe. I think they want to make sure they take some of the pressure off. 28 yards the game there on the catch and run. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. At the 47. He'll look to throw. Throwing left side, it's complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The passing game for the Colts finding its stride. Another first down. Now they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that?
time now. You know on second and inches, I love it when teams are aggressive and take a shot, but we just saw the downside to being that aggressive, didn't we? Now you've given up on a pretty likely first down if they had run the football and they need to come up with something here on third. They're looking at a third and goal here. They'll drop the throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Indianapolis. In for the score. And the Colts add on to their lead. Well, they have to be loving this start to the first quarter. Well, the way that they're going, I mean, they're about two touchdown drives already. They feel very confident and feel like they have all the answers. I'm picking up some of the slack. Because remember, the last drive, they went three and out. And it's caught. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. As his guys are in for six. And the Cardinals draw a bit closer. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays. Back to throw here. He'll have a first down past the 40. And he'll get this all the way up to the... the football not easily done in today's NFL. Throwing right in that's complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A good pick up there, a 22. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more comp work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit. Maybe pump up the pace. Maybe go two minutes. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. There goes Larry Fitzgerald. Touchdown, Cardinals. Larry Fitzgerald, 73 yards. And the Cardinals are able to show off their quick strike ability. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You got it down, Pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he will find his man on the outside. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. There's a good place to the tight end, and I think they were looking at something out of central casting, frankly. Absolutely. I mean, size, the hands, speed. I mean, can flat out run. You put that whole package together, you light up the eyes of an offensive court. But it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. That's something we have not seen him do to this point. That's take the ball, tuck it, and run. Exactly right. His first carry of the game. I guess he picked a good time to do it. He certainly did. Not only did he have the element of surprise, he's making sure he's judicious in taking off. The last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'll get back over my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual for you. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up. Nine down from the 21. They'll look to throw here. Pressure comes, and the Cardinals bring it down. Defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. It's third and 16. Now back to throw. Dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. 23 yards, the final tally. 
and I know you can't really see it, but that play spells frustration with a capital F for the guys on defense. They covered everyone else, end up going to the running back out of the backfield, and he picks up a back-breaking first down. Okay. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball in the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Absolutely perfect. 
And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. And you know, in an era of cost-cutting and maximizing your roster, this is a club that does not skip on special teams, and in these situations, it pays dividends. Push fun down to the very end. They got the points late, right before the whistle. Then the ensuing kickoff. They were hoping for magic on the other side, but couldn't get that spark. Fun if you won, <laughs> and fun for us, because we got to watch it and call it. That magic that you were talking about didn't occur in the end, but what a game all the way through. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say good night from Glendale.